Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the Pixel Lab. I have a little tip for you today that I'm pretty proud of. I just figured this out and it's gonna save you a lot of time on rendering. So this is a bit of a hack. So let's say that we have a bunch of different numbers that we need to render out. You can see that this one frame took two minutes and five seconds to render. So if we have a bunch of them that we need to output, it's gonna take a lot of time. And this is only one frame. If we have a whole sequence, it's gonna take quite a while. So what we're gonna do is hack the interactive render region. So if you've ever used it, you uh, twirl down your render set and go to interactive render region. It's gonna give you a black uh, box and it's only going to render inside of here. This is great for previewing some different texturing that you're doing, stuff like that. So we're gonna go ahead and drag the handles and we're going to frame up just the part that we want to render. And then one other important thing is there's this little triangle here which you can slide up and down to increase or decrease the quality. You're gonna to wanna to make sure this is all the way to the top and that will match your output settings. So once we have this all set up, Let's go into our render settings and let's make sure that we check on alpha channel. That's very important. And then we're gonna change the output to the number. So we'll do 17. And let's go ahead and find that number in here and change it to 17. And let's go back to our render settings under output. There is a little render region checkbox. And if we tick that on, it's going to render out the render region only. However, if we twirl this down, you can see that the crop is at zero, so it's gonna render the whole frame. And we don't know the exact pixels that we're cropping, but if we click on copy from IRR, it will um, kind of adopt the settings that you have set up in here. So if we just click that, uh, we're gonna get all the correct pixel crop and it'll match what we have here. So that is all you have to do, and then we'll just hit render and we'll see what it does here. So um, the original one took two minutes and five seconds. And if we look at what it's doing right now, you can see that it's only rendering out the little portion that we specified and it is just tearing through that 12 seconds. So we shaved off nearly two minutes off of our render, which is crazy. All right, and then we just need to jump into After Effects and we will import that new file and we can just literally drag and drop it on top and you can see that we have now replaced the number and we've saved almost two minutes on that render. So a really cool little hack of the interactive render region, super uh, efficient way if you're batch processing a lot of stuff. I hope that helps you guys out. As always, thank you for checking out Pixlab. We'll talk to you next time. Ciao.